Well, Ricky, congratulations in the final of the A-League. Um, something very special for the club. Yeah, ma massively pleasing. You know, real good performance from the boys. You know, a bit disjointed in patches and you know, a bit of character from the guys to come back and obviously score late on. At the Leicester came back as really strong and we knew they always would do. So, yeah, outstanding performance. And it just shows the work that, that those guys have done throughout the season. You know, not just tonight, but you know, going away to long away trips on those Monday nights and those A games has just shown you know what commitment and you know, the willingness for those guys to play for each other has really shone through tonight. A bit like the first team, the Chiefs never know when they're, they're beaten and, and we saw it again tonight, you know, Leicester came back into the game and uh, the boys showed their fighting spirit. Yeah, it's just, I sort of uh, spreading through the club really, you know, whether it be the A side, you know, hopefully it'll come through in the academy side, the guys will keep fighting for each other and that's what we spoke about in the changes before, you know, we're going to put our bodies on our line for each other and, and they did that and they just kept fighting and fighting and you know, if things didn't go their way, they made, you know, made some... Uh, mistakes, but you know, one thing about Exeter, what we do know those guys will do is they'll keep coming, and they did, you know, and to score in the corner there and, and to defend the line the way they did for those you know, last two or three minutes when Leicester really you're getting on top of us there, was, I thought it was outstanding. And you know, big credit to all the players there and all the guys that have played in these A games throughout the year, you know, the academy guys has, has been outstanding. Rob talked about it that it's these guys in these games and also in training that are pushing those, those guys in the first team. So, yeah, it shows, you know, like Brian Rennie's moved up into the first team, you know, Phil Dolman, you know, and if you perform in these A-Leagues, you, you'll get pushed up. And there's guys there tonight, you know, that are still hunting for first team opportunities. You know, we've got obviously Saracens next week and, and they'll obviously have a break and come into next season, yeah, and they're all going to be, you know, pushing to get selected for next year. When you look at it, though, this season's been great for you in terms of the A-League now. You've got a final here against Harlequins, a side you've beaten this year, but they will be a tough ask. Yeah, you know, me... Yeah, me and Rob have really enjoyed this year, you know, as coach, something to get our teeth into and you know, to get into a final, and, you know, a first semi-final for the club and now in the final, you know, in a home final, it's going to be a massive day for the club and, you know, the support again tonight was outstanding and you know, if they can come down next Monday night and cheer us on, you know, against a you know, very good Harlequins A side, you know, I think if we can you know, do obviously what we did up at their place to them, I think we'll be in a you know, good position. We've talked about, obviously, the senior players getting their chances, but tonight we saw some of the academy boys again shining. Jack Arnold. Not took two wonderful tries there. Yeah, J yeah, Jack hasn't been at the club for a while. He's been away with like, the England under-19s. So for him to come in and play the way that he did and show maturity you know, when he finished those two tries was you know, was really good. And you know, obviously there's other academy guys that have played throughout the year. Chris Crane came in from the uni, came onto the wing and was solid. You know, So yeah, there is opportunity for these academy guys and for the uni guys to come in and really you know, push the places. I know for you and Rob it's helped you as well with your own coaching to, to get that bit more control than you perhaps would with the first team and that. Um, you're obviously learning all the time as well. Yeah, you do. Yeah, me and Rob learn every time we get. Even Rob and Ali will say the same thing. Every game they play, they'll learn things as well. So, yeah, it's, it's working with a group of players, getting to mould them a little bit the way that you want to. Obviously, within the structures of the club, and yeah, obviously myself and Rob now have learned a hell of a lot from this A League, and we can come into next year and obviously put things in place that we'd like, like to change from this year for next year as well. So it's going to be even tougher next year. Brilliant. Thank you, mate.